Guys, welcome back to episode 15 of The Real Deal, James Neal. Today for you, I have a game against the Anaheim Ducks, and then at the end, there are three um, quick sim games as well. Uh, as you can see, we, start, uh, we are on the first line with Sid and Aginla. And today, uh, there's only one thing I can really talk about, and that is Ilya Kovalchuk retiring and heading back to Russia. So Kovalchuk has retired from the NHL um, and is now heading back home to Russia to sign, presumably with the is it SKA, uh, St. Petersburg team, uh, where he's going to earn more than he did with the Devils. Now, what was it, three years ago, he signed that ridiculous... Uh, contract, the 17 or 15 year contract, sorry, um, worth 102 million dollars, or was it? I think it was 100 million dollars uh, for 15 years after uh, the 17 year 102 million one got rejected by the league. So the Devils still owe a first round pick to the league um, for the breach of. Um, the rules in terms of the contract they offered to Kovalchuk originally, which to me may now be given back to them considering that he's no longer there. Uh, he gets no money from the Devils. Uh, the Devils have to pay 250k a year in salary cap for Kovalchuk retiring, which isn't a great deal. Um, it, it's it's half of the minimum amount a player can earn in the league. So it's not it's not like you're losing a player for it. You're losing half a player's worth of salary, and that would be a fourth liner. So it was a surprise how how it's come out um, at this time. I don't know whether Lou Lamarello knew it was coming or not. I presume he did. Uh, but it's pretty pretty awful for the Devils. Um, first, you lose Zach Parise. Uh, to free agency in the Minnesota Wild, and now Kovalchuk's gone. Uh, how long is Brodeur going to be there now? With, with the signing of Corey Schneider, you would presume that come the end of this coming season, he may well retire, and also David Clarkson leaving as well. So it, has, it hasn't been great for the Devils. Uh, missing the playoffs as well last year, and we, well, you didn't get a first-round selection uh, because of trading it for Corey Schneider. So, to be honest, it seems like a bit of a dick move by Kovalchuk. Um, mainly because the Devils get nothing for him. Like, he's gone. There is, they get nothing in return. Uh, he just decides that he wants to go back to Russia, um, retires, and then can go over and earn even more money over there. Now, Alexander Radulov is on $9 million a year in the KHL and that is believed to be the highest earning player. So if he's earning nine, we can expect to see Kovalchuk earn fifteen, probably. Anywhere up to about fifteen million I would imagine. And that is expected to be announced on Monday um, by SKA St Petersburg. So he so Kovalchuk gets what he wants. He goes back to Russia with his family and the devils get absolutely zilch in return and still may have to relinquish a first round pick next year which you imagine could well be a uh, well a lottery pick really considering that what they've lost this summer and what they've well what they've what they've recouped in the form of Ryan Clo <laughs> so now Brian Clough is going to have to replace David Clarkson and Ilya Kovalchuk. So that should, uh, that should be interesting to watch. This decision by Kovalchuk to leave and go back to Russia, we could be looking at this in a few years' time and saying he was the first of many to do this. Um, it's now given other Russian players precedent to do it. Like, say, say for example, that Alexander Ovechkin got fed up in Washington, then... He could leave, retire, and then head over to Russia and make even more money than he's earning now, which seems crazy. He really does. It's absolutely crazy. Um, what I'm not sure about 
is whether Kovalchuk comes back to the NHL at some point, say in two years' time when he gets fed up of playing in a sub a subpar league, and when he's getting about 90 points in 45 games or however many games they play over there. What What is his situation? Does he come back and is a completely free agent? Is he an unrestricted free agent? Does he come back and the devils hold his rights? That's that's one thing I don't know. I've seen a bit on Twitter about people debating it, and I haven't. I've seen lots of different opinions on it, so I really don't know what would happen in that case. But I would imagine it's something which is quite likely to happen, uh, even if he comes back, say, in four or five years' time. I I I would imagine he will come back at some point. Is he gonna? want to stay out there and play at that level or is he going to want to try it out with the best again I saw a tweet from uh, Rob Rossi who's a uh, who Penguins fans would know quite well I would imagine he's like a, uh, a reporter um, and has quite a lot to do with the Penguins in terms of reporting on them he stated that um, Evgeny Malkin was persuaded not to go back to Russia to spend the summer there, or well, not too much of it anyway, because there would have been people chirping in his ear about why don't you come back to Russia? Why don't you come back and play in the KHL? Why not leave your 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 contract or or not sign a contract with the Penguins and come back to Russia? Now this is something which, as I said previously, I reckon could happen a lot now. Um, Maybe not necessarily only with the big players, not with the Malkins and Ovechkins, but some of the lesser uh, players as well. Teams could be losing players and getting nothing in return. Um, it is going to be a problem, I think, in the long run. Uh, I, I, is there anything the league can do about it? Not really. So it's it's a hard one. These guys, I can understand these guys wanting to go back to be with their family and stuff, but. You have no right to sign a contract. Obviously, we weren't expecting him Kovalchuk to stay to 24-25 uh, season, but I think most were expecting him to stay until the money went down a lot in his contract to for another six seasons or so. I would imagine. I think that was feasible to see him staying over here, uh, over here, sorry, uh, over in America um, with the Devils until the 2018-2019 um, or 2019-2020 season. Okay, guys, that's about it for all I wanted to talk about today uh, on the situation with Ilya Kovalchuk. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. A um, couple more goals there. And as you can see on screen now, we are, we're just under a point per game still. Um, next episode, uh, I believe, is another uh, full game. And then soon, very soon indeed, we have the uh, All-Star All -Star break, All-Star game which uh, I can now reveal we are a part of. We, uh, after scoring all those points, we are a part of that. So that's coming up very soon. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and I shall see you in episode 16. See you later.